to your points using the biological world as as support mice worms i find it interesting and i'm curious if you're familiar with this uh this has been a point of of my study over the years on biblical longevity where we actually have a certain enzyme or antioxidant dr hartnett called superoxide dismutase yeah, and it turns out that lobsters have an expanded repertoire of genes for this specific antioxidant enzyme right. and that actually helps with oxidative uh, stress and if you look into it uh lobsters are said to uh because of that and also apparently they have better telomerase uh, production from my understanding right. they could live a lot longer easily over 100 years so what happens yeah. in the pre-flood world where you have humans that have more superoxide dismutase more telomerase less more resilience i mean all of these things that we see in real time we get an example like with the lobsters or with the experiments with worms and mice and i think reasonably we can extrapolate that to make conclusions about the the, the yeah. ages in the pre-flood world and and the, the issue of genetic entropy which you're bringing up with the lobsters that connects to the physiological resilience issue and mm -hmm. the loss of energy in the organism because of genetic decay so genetic decay is genetic decay is a reference to the information in the genome being lost but also there is uh energy uh there's there's non non genetic entropy processes going on as well where the um the cell structures are decaying you have epigenetics involved i don't know the details of all of this but it's way more complex and so we can wrap it all together by saying that um physiological resilience characterizes a, a, a lot of this biological stress or the inability, the, the oxidative stress, the inability to recover from some type of event, some type of stress event. Um, so you can see there's an interconnectedness between right. these different lines of research and and loss of longevity in the organism. Well, I love this. I love this model, this viewpoint that you take all these different factors and they're interconnected so it's it's a sophisticated model with a lot of details and then we can wrap it all up in a neat little package as one might say 